Understanding Canadian Slang in Formal versus Informal Settings Hey there, fellow language enthusiasts! Today, we're diving deep into the charming world of Canadian slang. Specifically, we're going to explore how these words and phrases are used in formal versus informal settings. Ever wondered when it's okay to use a certain slang word? Stick around to find out! Before we dig into the actual words and phrases, let's understand what we mean by formal and informal settings. Formal settings include situations like job interviews, business meetings, official events, or whenever you're speaking to someone in a position of authority. Here, it's crucial to communicate clearly and professionally. Informal settings, on the other hand, are more relaxed. These include hanging out with friends, chatting online, or informal gatherings. Here, there's more room for fun and using slang words. Alright, let's dive into some popular Canadian slang and where you might hear or use them. 1. A. This iconic Canadian interjection can mean, right, or, don't you think? While it's primarily used informally, you might occasionally hear it in more formal situations, especially in casual conversations. 2. Looney and Toony. These refer to the Canadian $1 coin and $2 coin, respectively. While it's slang, it's widely accepted and can be used in both formal and informal settings. 3. Double Double. A type of coffee with two creams and two sugars, commonly ordered at the popular Canadian coffee shop, Tim Hortons. This is mostly used informally but would be understood in a formal setting if discussing coffee preferences. 4. Keener. A term for someone who's extremely eager or enthusiastic, often overly so. This is informal and might not be ideal for formal discussions. 5. Snowbirds. Canadians who travel to warmer climates during the winter months. It's informal but understood in most settings, especially when discussing travel or retirement. Remember, while these slang terms can be fun to use, always gauge the situation to determine appropriateness. When shifting from an informal setting to a formal one, consider the following tips. 1. Limit slang. Stick to more standard English words and phrases. 2. Articulate. Speak clearly and avoid using fillers like, uh, or, like. 3. Ask if unsure. If you're uncertain about a term's appropriateness, it's always okay to ask someone more familiar with the setting. 4. Observe. Pay attention to how others are speaking and adapt your language to match the environment. There you have it. Understanding the nuances of Canadian slang in various settings will not only make you sound more authentic but also help you navigate different social situations with ease. Remember, language is a living, evolving thing. And the way we use it can change based on where we are and who we're with. Here's hoping this guide helps you embrace Canadian English in all its glory. Cheers, and happy learning!